show you here so this is the simulation so firstly uh, you can see this is ADC 0808 block and I have given an analog signal and uh, this is 8 bit D latch latch IC it consists of 8 D flip flops and then this is 3 to 8 mux and it has 3 select lines ABC and 3 input lines and one output line which is connected through oscilloscope and uh, this is 4040 40, this which is called 12 bit binary counter and this is a square wave generator and I have used it to generate 80 kilohertz square wave so I will give you the explanation why it is 80 kilohertz so uh, you can see that I have a given a clock of 650 kilohertz to the ADC I have used ADC 0808 and uh, yeah so firstly as you know that for from the data sheet ADC 0808 had 100 microsecond conversion time uh, means it take 100 microsecond for data analog uh, for analog input data to convert it to the output digital form so that output is given to the latch IC and I have connected a NOT gate which will make sure when the data comes on the output then only it latches the data means the, this IC latch the data and after that MUX and counter this counter circuit will uh, like count from 0 to like 7 and one by one it will uh, give all the input like pass the input to the oscilloscope so one by one data can be visualized that uh, how it has been converted so 100 microsecond is the conversion time and 8 pulses are required so 100 by 8 which is 12.5 microsecond and 12.5 microsecond is converted into uh, means uh, frequency like the reciprocal of 12.5 which is I've calculated and it is 80 kilohertz so this clock of 80 kilohertz I have given through this IC triple five uh, as a, a stable mode I'm generating a square wave of 70% duty cycle and that uh, duty cycle like you can formula you can go through the net or I can tell you it is R2 plus R3 upon R2 plus twice of R3 into 100 so you can calculate the duty cycle for this IC triple five timer and I have also made a reset circuitry this reset is for just to reset the uh, circuit and uh, okay so uh, I will show you how that works so firstly I will start the simulation and explain you so so you can see that my simulation has started so so in starting the circuit should give no noise for like for no uh, for no input there should be no output so right now no output so I will tap this press as you can see now the on the oscilloscope screen the output has begun to arrive so this output is a pulse code modulation output I will you can also verify it I will like stop it so that you can visualize uh, like I have stop it so I have stopped it now you can uh, visualize these high pulses which I will uh, on the this mux so whatever that present on the mux like it is one zero zero one so you can also see here one zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero so again the count will uh, repeat itself so uh, like I will again start the simulation I've started and now I will change the input so input can be changed through the, this rheost rheostat which is 1 kilo ohm and it is having input of 5 volt so I will change this to like uh, I will give it increase the voltage as I increase the voltage you can see that the pulse coming is changing so if I stop it right now stop the simulation again you can visualize on the mux whatever present is shown on the oscilloscope like 10010 so you can see 10010 then 0 then 1 so this again so uh, one more time I will show you start the simulation and now I will show you for 
like uh, what happen when I will increase the voltage to 5 volt so as you can see that if I give the uh, like increase the voltage like 100% of this rheostat so 100% means 5 volt so 5 volt means the output will all be high so ADC you will produce the output voltage of high so till that you can see right now that yeah for every uh, like for every when you adjust it you have to put this circuit button so th uh, this button means the output has been converted and you can see that EOC, pa e uh, EOC pin is which is 7 becomes 0 and it becoming 0 it means becoming 0 it means that the data uh, means it, uh, the, the conversion has been completed and as the conversion is completed so the uh, output on the screen will be all high okay so I will give make it 100% and then reset so again you can properly uh, verify so yeah 100% so now you can see when the conversion is complete the pin number 7 goes low the output will be uh, observed on the oscilloscope and you will, you will observe a DC line a continuous DC line which will indicate uh, that output all the output pins are high and should th and they should be high so let's wait for this EOC pulse uh, like EOC to go low which will indicate that the conversion is completed uh, so waiting waiting yeah so you can see that now EOC pin has go low and you will see this yeah DC line so this continuous DC line represent that uh, this represent that the all the pins are gone high so this is the whole simulation of PCM PCM as a uh, transmitter so and on the net you can also like on the when you google it you will find that they have number of blocks like uh, the data is to be encoded then quantized then sent so for that the every like uh, this circuit ADC is working doing all the uh, all probably solving the problem of those all those things and I have used latch and mux and this uh, like uh, counter circuitry and this clock circuitry so that I can show you on properly on the oscilloscope like so I have also converted this on the hardware so uh, it is properly working so I hope uh, it get clear how to design a PCM transmitter and uh, yeah you can add the like for, for, for persons uh, for the beginners who are not well aware like of the all the how to design it so they can also use L, uh, LEDs at the output of the ADC to verify what is the digital output that they are getting so uh, so I hope this PCM I hope that PCM uh, transmitter are you clear with the PCM transmitter and uh, yeah uh, for any doubt you can also write me and I hope I will help and if there is something I don't know I will also uh, like came to know what's wrong and I will try to manipulate it so yes thank you very much hello uh, this is me Akash so yeah thank you very much for this for have listening me